Welcome back. There is a new modeling agency and modeling school in Kamloops. It's sort of a two-pronged thing. Uh, it's called Fashion Speaks International, but this isn't just any modeling agency. It's an agency that's been created to help support a very worthwhile and important cause in this country. Uh, here to talk about it, uh, Kim Coltman, thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thanks yes. for having me again. Yes, you're uh, so welcome to be here. Uh, you've brought with you two of your models, Tanya Pellet sitting next to you, Heather Lewis on the end. Ladies, you're beautiful. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Kim, you have founded this modeling agency called Fashion Speaks International. Tell yes. us a little bit about it. We originally started Fashion Speaks as just a singular show. Um, all of this information was coming up. We were getting bombarded with information about missing and murdered Indigenous women. And that's an issue that has touched my family personally as well. And I know so many other families that, that that's happened to, where, uh, for example, with me, my, my cousin was killed by Clifford Olson. Um, so there's been, there's been a lot of different things um, that show that First Nations people are targeted in terms of that. And for me, it seemed like what was happening is that First Nations people culturally do not normally eye contact is not a big thing within that culture. So when I'm watching young First Nations girls walking down the street, most of the time I'm watching them with their heads down. They're not really paying attention to what's going on around them. And that makes them invisible, which makes them targets. So I decided to start the school because I want to try and help these women to be no more noticeable so they're less of a target yes. for these people who are trying to kill them or take them. Yes. So, I mean, we all know that the wolf or any predator will try and single out its prey and, and move it off to the side to, so that it can get to it unobstructed. Mm -hmm. And that is what I think is happening with First Nations girls and women. They are not as emboldened let's say, as other women. And I think that that is why that's happening to them. We've tried everything else, Susan. We've tried teaching women to how to protect themselves. We've tried teaching men that this is not okay. We, we've tried to do all of those things. It's not working. I think what we really need to focus on is building self-esteem in young women and girls. Mm -hmm. I think we need to make them more present. I think we need to make them more visible so that they are not targets. Okay. Uh, well stated. Uh, Tanya and Heather, thank you for being here. Uh, you have gone through the course now. Uh, yes. You've been through the school. Tell me a little bit about why you want to be a part of this. Well, at first, um, it was about a year ago that I started with Kim Coltman, and I've met her, and she's trained me, and I've, the training was a lot of fun. Like, I didn't know there was so much that was um, involved, involved sure. with the fashion, <laughs> and just the cause is, like, really spoke out to me. Yeah. Yes. Is it something that has affected your family personally at all? No, but I've, like been like I, I hear a lot of stories and yep, stuff I'm, sure. I, I'm a BSW student mm -hmm. so good I'm for you. really advocating it and yeah good for you and Heather what about you what's your motivation for getting involved um, I started a year ago as well with Kim Coltsman and I really didn't know anything about this until I I moved here about six years ago and I've really like to give a voice for those women that have gone missing and their families and it just keeps it going and it keeps it not underneath the carpet it just keeps it so everybody's aware of it yeah. and it just keeps it going so Absolutely. i'm very passionate about this and i love modeling and i love networking and yeah. just meeting all the all the people and listening to all the stories. Yes. Yes. Now, if you go to Facebook, you can absolutely look up uh, Fashion Speaks International. That information is on the screen. Uh, this is updated almost daily, this uh, site. And the, the pictures of you ladies and the other ladies that are getting their, their pictures done, gorgeous. A lot of it is obviously in the traditional theme, uh, some of it a little bit more modern. Uh, but when it comes to fashion shows, you're holding off on having one big one until a year from now when you're going to see some high profile people come exactly we also have designers coming in from all over the world because the next show um, is being called world fusion of wearable art 
So what we're trying to do is incorporate all indigenous cultures into the next show, not just North American indigenous culture, cultures. So we do have designers coming from Australia, New Zealand, and I'm seriously looking for a haku group here in town so that we can honor them before their line comes onto the runway. Mm -hmm. So the, the little things take a lot of time and coordinating it all and making sure everybody can be here at the exact same time really takes a lot. And we want to make sure this time that we have um, coverage sure. for the, the show because last time there was very little, but it was an amazing show. It was huge. So you so want more people to be aware of it we and do. see it. We do. We are almost out of time, uh, so we're going to have to wrap this up. However, uh, for people who are looking to get involved or even possibly become a part of Fashion Speaks International, you can go to the Facebook site. Uh, you can also see that there is an address on the screen if you would like more information. So ladies, thank you for being here. I think this is a fantastically worthwhile cause and uh, good you. on you for founding it. Thank you. All right. um, we do have a website. It's fashionspeaksinternational.ca. Perfect. And you can see a lot of information there. All of our class schedules are there there's um, I don't have it complete yet it is under construction so there are a bunch of blank pages but there's still quite a bit of really good information on that site too awesome all right ladies thank you for being here